today I'm going to be demonstrating the best methods of planting the one that is the best my own personal opinion and I'll give you reasons why many persons don't really know how to plant yam in the heap so we're going to be demonstrating today how yams are planted in the heap I'm going to be demonstrating five different methods for three major types of seedlings this is a mini tuber is a seedling but I'm going to demo demonstrate how to plant this in three ways this is another form of seed yam that we've demonstrated before we've even showed us how to get this in our previous video please do well to watch that video then this is Another form of seedling is a is a large tuber that was split into sets. So this is a, a particular kind of set. You see, there are exposed surfaces and there is a surface that can grow. We are going to be showing us how these ones can be placed. Uploaded videos like that before. You can watch our videos on that. But during the rainy season, this is around early May. I don't need this anymore. So it's, it's, it's already started raining. I'll just get that out of the way so that rain can come on it and it can start growing on time. That's method one. But this method has a disadvantage. This is hip. I will show us in a few seconds the disadvantage of it. With time, the rain can wash off this and when it starts growing, the roots will be exposed because the head of the tuber you planted is facing upwards. So once it washes down, it can easily be exposed. Some person said, put it deep down. Yes, some person may not even know how to gauge how deep you should put. But well, if you want to choose this method, the minimum you should even the minimum you should go is about five inches deep down, and it should not be of course more than seven inches deep down. This one has the advantage of having en enough room to actually form tuba and other, but there's also the disadvantage of the tuba not getting uh, rotten on time when it has started growing because without the tuba getting rotten, you won't really have to buy the shop for me. But I want to know your opinion on this for those who have experience with this. This is method one. Now, I haven't seen the disadvantage of the first method. I want to show us another method that is a little bit advantageous compared to the one I've earlier demonstrated. The same way you can use your shovel. I used my shovel the first time, but I also want to demonstrate how to use this instrument. You see that the hole is angulated such that you can just put it in once and open up. This time around, I'm going to plant in a horizontal manner such that my tuba will just be horizontal this way the vine will go this way and all the roots will spread radially Why the tuba will be formed this way so this is what I will do I will just place it horizontal and cover this way I am able to bury the head a little deeper than the first one and of course the rain washing the stops will not easily expose the root but there is a better way which I have discovered and this is my best actually this is the third method I go to this third heap this is what I'm going to do again I'll do this open it up but this time around I'm not going to put it vertical so that the head will be facing I'm not going to do horizontal I'm going to place the head a little downward the vine will still grow this way but I'll tell you the advantage. The advantage is that the head is more deeply buried. Even if you don't get the amount of inches you are supposed to, you know, uh, uh, go deep and all that, it will still help you preserve the head so that the roots that are going to be formed will be deeply buried. No matter the amount of washing of your hip and all that, the root will hardly ever be. Uh, but some persons may find this funny, but this is actually the best. With the tail tilting up, even if the tail is exposed, it's still advantageous because it can easily get rotted and of course you have large room for tuberization you know? so this is the best way to place your ceiling of such nature so i'm going to put it down face the head face down not 
completely vertically down but slightly down so this is what I will do I'll cover sometimes the tail can even be exposed once the rain comes it will wash it and it might even be exposed I'll show you a video soon of the exposure that I got from this after it defined as I grow but yet the head we are not exposed all the year the head we are not exposed and uh, I'll have the advantage of having good tuberization and all that. So for me, this is my best method. This third method is my best method. I want to know your own opinion. What works best for you? 